Ich bin hier beim Stand von Novation Focusrite. Neben mir steht der Giles und er wird uns mal erklären, was es Neues bei Novation gibt. Hallo Giles. Hallo, good afternoon. So, um, new products at, at the show. The SL Mark II. I'm hoping everyone will be familiar with the Automap and the SL Mark I. What's different about the SL Mark II and where does it take off? Well, the first thing I'm going to point out is this touch sensitivity. We introduced the Nocturne, which revolutionized the way you control plugins. Well, we have that same touch sensitivity here as well, so I can touch a dial uh, and I can set the dial to control any parameter. So it's simply touch a dial, click a parameter, and then you're in control. In Automap 3 Pro, or Automap 3, well, in, in Pro, which is purchasable from the Novation website and is the latest version of Automap, you can also drag and drop controls. So if I want to move these faders, I can just move it across and it automatically... In fact, it says this is a standard version, so we can't have got that drag and drop facility. But in the Pro version, you can drag and drop. Also in Pro, you have uh, Huey control. So now within Automap, whether you're controlling Pro Tools or Logic, that Huey control is there. So you don't have to come out of Automap. So Automap 3 is more powerful than ever. Everything you need to control, plugins, VST, RTAS, TDM, uh, AU, um, all the mixes as well from those different sequences, everything is within Automap. The Huey protocol is running at the same time as Automap. Exactly. So it does all the transport controls come from the Huey? Within within Automap, so so you don't have you don't to have jump. to choose. No. It's happening on. Okay, well, do you know why you didn't go for the Mackey control protocol, the Huey, uh, the good old Huey is back? Well, I mean, Huey is is a protocol now that everybody is using just to gain control within Logic, Pro Tools, and others. It's just become that default option. standard. But within with our controllers, it's not the only option. You have Automap running as it, on its own. You have individual maps. So you have all these different technologies within Automap that allow you to pick the best controller for what, whatever you're doing. Cool. And what will that be available? What's really exciting and for the first time is that the SL, we announced it today, it's shipping now and will be available in stores in two weeks. Very cool. But there are a couple of other features that I want to point out. And the most obvious one, and if I hold it up, everything's lit up. So previously with the uh, SLs, these were just standard gray buttons. Now each one you can oh, see instantly yeah. what's going on. Okay. So it's instant visual feedback. These top pots have lead rings as well, so you can tell what the level is. Before you had to look at the GUI or oh, you had yeah, to check yeah. the plugin. So oh, that's a major improvement. It's a major change in the way you work, which is why I talk about it as being a, it's, it's a real jump from Mark 1, Mark 2. Oh, yeah. They don't immediately look different. But when the lights come on, and you really get that idea. We have soft field drum pads, which I think are, are, are nicer to use than previously. Um, you also have a, an Automap layout. And the, the key thing is here is Automap has evolved from version 1 to version 2 to version 3. And as it's evolved, the hardware couldn't. It's true, so yeah, yeah. Mark II, now the hardware is very much in tune with the software. A good example of this is the user FX instrument mixer buttons. So if I want to see what plugins I'm running, I click on FX, there's my plugins. I want to control Synapsis, I just touch that dial, I'm controlling Synapsis. So it's about speed and about controlling things really quickly and then getting instant visual feedback. So, in a nutshell, that's the SL Mark II. Wonderful, thanks. Okay, Judge, what is this? Looks almost the same, but uh, oh, subtle okay. differences. So, a SL Mark II again, a Mark II of the Zero. Big difference, it's silver, black, but that doesn't make much of a difference to the user. So what does make a difference? Well, long throw faders, something that people have been asking for a while. So you have 60 mil faders. Another one, obviously have all the touch sensitivity and all the other details and it's compatible with Automat 3, but you also have a cross fader as well. So the Zero SL Mark II, differences between that and the other Mark IIs is cross fader and long throw faders. Otherwise it has all the same features of the SLs, except no keyboard. Thank That's you, it. Pleasure. Me too. All right. Thank you.